Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this video tutorial, we will learn about the bridge rectifier usage within the multisim. As we know that a single diode can act as a half wave rectifier. But for a complete rectification of AC signal, we need our bridge rectifier. So first, you need to go to the components that is the uh, click on place diode here you can see that we have fwb component or the bridge rectifier component there are around four diodes in a single bridge rectifier okay now you can see that there are four diodes and they are connected in such a way that two diodes have in common the cathode and two diodes have have a common anode like uh, you can see that and this is the part from where we can get our DC output okay let's see that uh, okay first we, we go for AC voltage Okay, now this is our AC voltage. Okay, now we can see that there is huge frequency of this AC signal. So double click on it. Increase its uh, voltage peak to peak as 10 and its frequency here yeah, up to 10 hertz. Okay, not more than that. Okay, then after it you need to connect the point which has one cathode and one anode they are connected so to this common point we will connect our AC source and on downside you also need to connect like that so like this now we need to take our oscilloscope for to observe the output signal as well as the input signal Okay, now we will go for our output signal. We will connect the positive end of the oscilloscope section to this uh, right end of the bridge and negative with the uh, left side of the bridge. Okay, now if you want to observe the AC signal as well, we can. Or uh, first we will see it and then we will move towards our AC. Okay, now you can see that. We have okay now we, we have we, we are getting our DC output here you can see that but it is fluctuating or pulsating DC okay also we will go for okay so okay now now we will click on yes now you can see a complete train of pulses which are DC not the AC because for AC there must be one negative cycle now we will observe our AC waveform as well so we will go and we will connect it like that and like that so now hopefully we will observe both of the waveforms yeah now you can see that we have okay now I will decrease it out now you can observe that one is the AC, AC waveform a complete AC cycles and one is only having the positive cycles of the AC waveform after like putting a capacitor or certain other filters we can take a pure DC waveform so hopefully you got this concept that how we can convert AC into DC with the help of a bridge rectifier within the multisim. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel.